probably have the new IKEA catalog and you've perused it for your cheap apartment needs. I know I have. Uh, but did you know that 75% of that catalog is CG, not actually photographed furniture? Basically, um, I don't know how much of this is fake, but entire rooms in the catalog were created via CG. Well, very high quality CG, obviously, rather than um, just photography or standard photography. And it's been going on like this since summer of 2004 when they did their first CG piece of furniture. That's it! The Bertil? So lifelike. So lifelike. So real. And yet, not. So purchase purchasable, guys. <laughs> And then, you see, what they do is, you know, if they need to make small changes, such as the oven, the sink placement, oh, uh, the like, chandelier. Wait, what's the this size of the room, even. The size of the room, how, what drawers are where. It's, it's much, uh, well, it's more economical, it's and it's also easier. I don't know how much of this is fake, either. It's, I guess it's so seamless that you don't know. But um, that guy looks like a real person. That's that incredible. That is a real guy. That is a real guy, I think. <laughs> this has been increasingly uh, become more and more prevalent in IKEA catalogs to use these CGI, CGI worlds rather than uh, actual constructed photography sets. Now they've said that it's because, well, it's a lot easier considering how many different places in the world a lot of these furniture pieces come from, mm -hmm. and that if they would have to uh, reconstruct a scene with slight differences, they would have to redo the entire photography right. uh, session rather than just edit it on a computer. Uh, these images are very high quality, I believe 4K by 4K, mm -hmm. and there's a huge library of pieces, like maybe a, a meter long arch. There's a, a lot of different variances of that and different levels of quality, I guess, because the rendering is a bitch, but they still get it done. Yeah, the, the, um, part of the cool thing about the rendering is that they don't have a big render farm somewhere. Mm -hmm. They say it's all done in-house in Sweden, and then like when anybody walks away from their computer, like to go to a meeting or something, mm -hmm. they press a setting, and then their computer becomes part of the rendering machine. Oh, cool. And like when they're done for the evening, all the computers in the building work oh. together to render these things out. That's what we should be doing. Oh, we should Sweden. be like so efficient. efficient. I know, right? And easy to put together as IKEA. They work with what they got. Well, they also noted that um, many of the photographers had become trained as uh, 3D artists and likewise, and that had become part of the company culture, not really in a rough, like, you must learn or be fired way, but eventually over time, that's the way that it molded, um, and that, that they couldn't have done this maybe five years ago even, even though 2004, but, you know, at this scale five years ago, but they've been using UV mapping and better and better software that seems like they were describing the software that they have with a pick and place. Like you could put a piece of fruit in the bowl and it'll look normal. That is incredible. I think that's awesome. I mean, I really like the fact that also environmentally, it's it's, it's environmentally nice. like, sound. Yeah, like they're not wasting paint and wasting products to build these shipping. fake spaces. Yeah, and shipping to build these fake spaces. Like they can just do it all on a computer. I think I think that's fantastic. I feel I, I like it a lot, and I, I if at this level where everything looks so fantastic. Yeah. Maybe it should be used more, but I'm wondering if people feel deceived by this a little bit, knowing that these aren't what you actually what you would buy, but, but a it very lifelike recreation. But is it a lifelike recreation or are they taking, you know, like three sixty imaging with it? Yeah. Of yeah. like the actual product. I don't feel deceived by it personally. I think it's nope. awesome and it should be used more. Um, I have noticed though like in clothing catalogs they'll sometimes Photoshop the color of like a certain top or whatever. Yeah, and it's wrong. And it's wrong when you get it. So maybe they should be using IKEA technology instead of just purple. It's purple now. Victoria's Secret yeah. fix it. Actually, that's exactly who was talking about. I know about. exactly who you were they talking about. I knew all exactly the time. who you were talking they about. This is the wrong color, bro. <laughs> this is not what you promised me. Right, Tim? That happens to me all the time. All the time. Victoria's get get Secret. I know. So um, they're also uh, looking to hire more 3D artists, even though that's not really, uh, I guess, out there in the public, like, we need 3D artists, but they are looking for 3D artists who uh, like home design, obviously, and can work on, on this scale, and hopefully it will, well, maybe not hopefully for everyone, but it looks like it will expand in the future, uh, in Ikea at least. Do it, guys. Move to Sweden. Get that job. <laughs> During the beginning phases of this, they were sending uh, these images, both photography and renderings, to their corporate people. And they got a memo back that's like, listen, this CGI is not working. Go back to photography. We don't like any of these. And they're like, 
Those are the photography ones. All, wow. all, the, all the ones that you like, were, we are not real. We made them. <laughs> that sounds like a trick. Oh, like, you just ate meat-free chicken. <laughs> How do you feel now? I don't feel weirded out or grossed out at all. I love that there. Uh, most of the catalog is CG. I, uh, do you feel deceived a little bit? Let us know what you think below in the comments if this should expand, be better, be used more prevalently, and, uh, or not. Let us know that, and please be sure to subscribe.